Yes. Tonight, protesters urged the police and fire commission to fire him. Our Julia Fellow is live in Madison with their response. And Charles, we're here live on Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard in Madison, where some of the demonstrations were held. Here on the ground, written in chalk, you can see it says Black Lives Matter and RIP Tony. More than 100 people were at tonight's commission meeting, and it was so many people that the public comment was taken up on the agenda first. The blood of Tony is on your hands. Holding well, justice for Tony signs, one person after the other spoke in front of the Madison Board of Police and Fire Commissioners meeting. I am asking that you guys discharge the officer that shot Tony yes. without pay. This whole city is in a turmoil because of that incident on Friday. Two members of the Madison police were in the packed room, as many who spoke brought up implicit and explicit bias they believe is in the Madison Police Department. I want to express my concerns about the way policies are drafted and about the way our young black males are portrayed in the city. Some mothers asked to be part of future police training. We are here. To, in hopes that you will hear the cries in the hearts of the young people and the mothers. Sometimes that tone is coming because of fear, of pain, of hurt, of frustration, of being let down. Others said they'll be keeping a close eye on the outcome of this investigation because they do not want this 19-year-old's death to be in vain. And I want you to know that I'm watching you and I'm watching what those training, what those training outlet looks like. And the family of Tony Robinson say that they have not finalized funeral arrangements at this time, and they ask for privacy right now from the media and the public as they grieve. Reporting live in Madison, Julia Fellow, today's TMJ4. All right, Julia, thanks. <laughs>